I have cancer. You're only the second known case in the world. Wow, lucky me. You're in this. Promise me, you will always smile. The C stands for cancer. Carly, you are so weird. And Cry is the story of Toronto teen Carly Allison and her public battle over a rare type of throat cancer. The story captured the heart of a nation and left behind a legacy of courage. So today we chat with Sarah Fisher, a friend and the actress who plays Carly in the movie, as well as Chantal Karviazic, who plays Carly's mother in the movie about her life. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us. Thanks so much. Uh, this movie, uh, amazing, and it, it was such an inspiring story that we all followed so closely even before before obviously this movie was being made about Carly and for you Sarah you were a friend of Carly a best friend yeah. uh, of Carly's what was it like for you following on this journey with her but then now stepping into the role playing her uh, you know it it was a very surreal experience because a lot of the scenes that made it into the film uh, were moments that I shared with Carly in real life mm -hmm. um, so it was a very very surreal experience for me but it was also um, it was also very therapeutic and it was a really great way to, you know, she she's still here. All of us on set felt like she was mm -hmm. there the whole time. She was yeah. so present that it was really cool. it's been a really incredible experience for sure. And what I'm sure brought you both closer to the whole experience, especially for you, Chantel, is the fact that you were filming a lot in a lot of spaces that Carly actually spent a lot of time in, whether it's her high school, uh, to Princess Margaret, mm -hmm. in, in her home. What in was it home. like for you going back yeah. to those spaces? I'm sure that brings you even closer to this entire story. Yeah, as a, as a parent, as a, as a, as a woman who, ha who creates a home, you know, um, that was a really heavy point for me and, and at first when I heard it was gonna be filmed in the locations I was like oh that's really cool and then I heard it was gonna be filmed actually in the family home and that overwhelmed me a little bit um, I thought okay maybe this is getting a little bit like what did I sign up for I, I, I did I felt uncomfortable and then the first moment that we went into the house it was a really profound experience um, and one of the things that comes to mind is that I thought to myself, wow, you know, they've made a beautiful home the way my husband and I try to make a home for our family. But no matter who you are, no matter what you have, what you create, no one is immune to this damn thing called cancer. And um, it, was, it was really, really hard, but also just so amazing to be around her family, the, you know, see all Carly everywhere. Yeah. I mean, notes yeah. she's left and mm -hmm. photos that of her and her, her siblings, and there's such a presence there, and it will never, never die. Yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to Carly sharing her story, not just uh, in this movie, but before she passed, she was blogging her YouTube videos that just went viral. So we got to know her a little bit as well, but Sarah, for you, you knew her directly. What was she like? Oh, okay. <laughs> Carly, Carly is one of the most bright um she was so funny she she just she had such a big personality i she's so brave she's a very very loving person um i couldn't speak higher of her i could talk about her for years i talk about her every day and she's with me every single day um and i always think of excellence when yeah. I think mm -hmm. of her, like she was a gifted athlete, musician. Yes. Um, I have a son who's a lot like her. Yeah. And when I, th I think of these kinds of people who are just sort of like great at everything, they're yeah. annoying, oh, like yeah. it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. right. Where was you great, get that? Was great at everything, and everything. she did. Yeah. But, and so she kind of see. It seems like she was was ill as as she is as she was well, right. which was she was great at it. It was like don't come in the room. Yeah. If you're if you're rolling that way, like mm -hmm. that's not going to work for me, and mm -hmm. everyone knew, and yeah. so it was just she carried on with that excellence, and that's why I signed up. Yeah, no, when when Car walks in a room, she's the kind of person where everyone takes notice. The second she walks in, there's something brighter. There's a brighter energy in and the room, and that's how Sarah is. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's how Sarah is. And it came through in the movie. And I mean, the first time I met yeah. Sarah, I was like, okay. <laughs> I said to my husband, I don't know what's going on there, but that's amazing. And then, oh. and, I, and it's so cool because she has, she has never not been that. Yeah. Like, she really is. She's kind of consistently just kind of moving up here. I'm right. like, here. <laughs> you operate just kind of up here all the time. Like, very, very little 
tiny variations of awesome, happy, joyful, positive. So I, I can see why you two were so, you know, kindred. Oh, I love you. I love you too. And I, I, I love this too. I know you guys obviously played uh, mom and daughter in this mm -hmm. movie, but you guys have become so close even after. She feels like a little sister to yeah. me more, but that's just me trying not to age myself. So, <laughs> so zip it. So you know what? It was, it was an incredible connection the second we got on set. Yeah. It was as if I had actually full heartedly as if I had known her for a good portion of my life. Yeah. It was a yeah. very quick connection mm -hmm. with us and it felt that way with a lot of people on set. Our mm -hmm. family on set, Luke and I already love each other, yeah. but the family on set, we were a family so quick. Yeah. There were scenes that were sensitive for, you know, because everyone is touched by cancer. Yeah. And the second they called cut, we were all hugging and kissing and making sure we were okay. We were right. kissing. But we were hugging. We kissed a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> me. You guys, hilarious. Well, thank you so much. Carly's motto was always smile, and I'm glad you guys yeah. both brought that to the movie. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Kiss and us. cry, no problem. It launches nationally on World Cancer Day. That is this Saturday, February 4th, and opens at Carlton Cinemas on February 10th. For more information, you can head over to kissandcrymovie.com.